Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with some mail. Media. This package arrived today from my good buddy Michael. You may know him as the man who brought us The Witching Season and one of my favorite horror films of last year, They Live Inside Us. Michael is a really good friend of mine. We say we're kindred spirits. We have so much in common, and he's just an all-around awesome guy. I have no idea what's inside this box, so I'm going to open it up and find out. All right, I got the box open, and there is a note, so I'll read that first. It's actually a postcard, and it says, Ho for a Merry Halloween. And on the back, he wrote, Joe. Happy Halloween, my friend. I wanted to send you a little Halloween treat to celebrate the spookiest of all seasons. Thank you for the years of friendship, support, and encouragement. Michael. That's a really cool postcard. I save all of the cards Michael sends me. They're always Halloween-themed or Goosebumps-themed, and I have them all displayed. All right, there is an awesome variety of stuff in this box, starting with this jack-o'-lantern flashlight. If this doesn't scream nostalgia, I don't know what does. How cool is that? I remember being a little kid using flashlights like this on Halloween while I was trick-or-treating. This really brings me back. Next up, we have this vintage family bag of fun. It's pumpkin lawn bags, three sizes. This image alone sets the tone for Halloween. This is great. I love this sort of thing. Again, it brings me back, just like the flashlight. This reminds me of being a kid and really enjoying Halloween. Sometimes it's hard to do that nowadays, but something like this is a good reminder of the magical time Halloween really was. Here's a package within the package that says, Spooky Stuff Inside. Hmm. Wow, guys, look at these. The soundtrack to The Witching Season and the soundtrack to They Live Inside Us. This is amazing. My wife is going to be ecstatic about these. She loves listening to this music. She is obsessed with the witching season and they live inside us. And I can't tell you how many times we've watched both. We recently saw that these soundtracks were being released and she immediately told me we need to get them. Well, here they are. Thank you so much, buddy. This is so cool. Michael always throws some horror books into these packages and here's what he sent this time. Bone Chillers, Back to School. Bone Chillers, Toilet Terror. These Bone Chillers books were basically like Goosebumps books. Choose Your Own Nightmare, The Halloween Party. It's a real scream. So cool. I'll definitely be reading this one before Halloween. And Horror Scope by Nicholas Adams. I love the artwork on these vintage horror novels. Check that out. That's amazing. Look at this, guys. A brand new, still sealed copy of the original Frankenweenie. Directed by Tim Burton. This was the Disney special that got Tim Burton fired from Disney. It was deemed too dark for the child audience, but I've always loved it. Go figure. Thank you so, so much for this, my friend. Next up is this big box VHS and DVD release of The Basement. What's so great about this is I actually bought this years back, and when I brought it home, I was very upset to find that the tape was missing. It was literally just the DVD case with the discs inside this big box. The whole reason I bought it was for the tape, so of course, that was pretty disappointing. Well, would you look at this. Michael fixed the problem. There it is, the complete set. The DVDs and the red VHS tape. For those of you curious about this one, The Basement was a lost Super 8 feature film, actually a horror anthology, including the segments Swimming Pool, Trick or Treat, Zombie Movie, and Home Sweet Home. And along with The Basement, this set also includes the movies Captives, Video Violence, Video Violence 2, and Cannibal Campout. That is a lot of shot-on-video horror glory. And now, some DVDs. This one is Jack Brooks' Monster Slayer, starring Robert Englund. I've never seen this one, but I've always been curious about it. Here's Lawnmower Man 2, Job's War, which, believe it or not, I don't think I own. 
I know I have the first Lawnmower Man film, but I don't think I've ever owned the sequel. Here's another horror anthology film I've always wanted to see. Scare Waves. I love that cover, and it's a big reason why this one caught my attention. And last, but definitely not least, it's a Scream Team releasing Blu-ray of Force to Fear. On the cover here it says, a throwback to 80s style canon films, right down to the stellar soundtrack. It's everything an action film should be. If that's true, I'm sure I will love this one. Just the word canon alone makes me excited. Canon films always got a bad rap, but I've always loved them, and I know a lot of you do as well. I am really looking forward to checking this out. Michael, you never cease to impress me, buddy. And I am always grateful for everything you send. Thank you so much for another stellar package. More than anything, though, it's your friendship I truly appreciate. So thank you for that as well. To everyone else, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.